practicing in case of the worst. Thursday, Taiwanese citizens and first responders held island-wide civilian disaster preparedness drills. These simulated emergency scenarios include missile strikes and chemical attacks. The drills come on the heels of three days of Chinese military exercises around the self-ruled island intended to intimidate Taiwan. And residents are on alert. If you say, oh, I, I'm not worried about this, uh, I don't think it's true. Everybody is, is threatened all the time. Actually, they're kind of nervous, but at the same time, a little just so-so. Maybe because we believe that Taiwan can't fight back. Taiwanese authorities also claim Beijing is planning to impose a no-fly zone on Sunday morning. Taipei says Beijing initially wanted a three-day no-fly zone, but this was reduced to just 27 minutes on Sunday morning after Taiwan protested. China has said the no-fly zone is related to satellite activity, but the foreign ministry spokesperson would not comment Thursday when asked about the plans. China's recent show of force follows Taiwan's president meeting with U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy in California last week. China considers Taiwan its own territory and objects to any interactions between the Taiwanese leadership and foreign officials.